Well, hey everyone, thank you for coming back and watching me review a cheap generic light kit. Um, don't expect miracles from this, but for an average of um, what I think cost me £13 off eBay for this um, cheap little light kit. It's, it's exactly what it is. Plenty of uh, wires, plenty of uh, leads on uh, the thing. How? Let me just see how long these are on my measuring board. These are 12 inches, 30 centimeters. And if you're plugging this into a drift car or something, you have one hell of cable management to do so what do we have here we have all these it tells us what they are and then we have on the side it tells us what each one does what each socket does and uh, on the other side D4 D5, D6, 10, 11, and 12. We've got 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9. Then we have 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, and 12. So that's 1, 2, 3 on this side, 7, 8, 9. Which is 4 front left turning light. Ah, these are all simmered together. So if I was to unplug those, they're all one, all one wire. So I don't know if we'd have to split those down. Um, but let's uh, let's get into it. What have we got here? We have three channels. One, two, and three. And we have one, two, and three. So. Let's get all the sockets, all the female ends together, and all the male ends together. Right, if this is a cheap, generic Chinese one, I'm going to assume that number two is throttle. So, um, this is a through, because there's no external power source. So... What I'm going to do is unplug my speed controller and plug that into channel 2 on there and my servo for the steering, move that around here plug that into channel one so two and one channel two channel one that channel one is steering so I'm going to stick that in that breakout board and channel two in there if I get that wrong, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know what number three is for. What is channel three? Because you don't get no instructions with this. Um, so there's channel one, channel three, channel three. Um, tell you what, I've got nothing to plug that into. So, I don't know what goes in there. 
but I can experiment. But I won't. So it's self powering. So let's juice this motherboard up. Turn on the radio. And let's watch some smoke come out. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, power this sucker up. Ooh, pretty lights. So, we have permanently on a set of blue and a set of white. And I'd imagine when we drive forward, I'll plug the motor back in. These two here, sure, I'm assuming they're going to light up. Oh, they're red. Right, we know the motor works, so that's their red lights. So, red and blue. So these are reverse lights. These are always on. Throttle forward, they come on. Bear in mind, I haven't touched any of these. So, what's that one? They're red. Right, I'm going to pull them out. Because they're red. And I'm going to pull these out because they're blue I don't like the blue ones coming on so plug them into there and plug them into there so when you drive forward let go of the stick and it breaks so we can have the rear lights as Brake lights, brake lights, and then reverse lights, like this. So I'm happy with those. They are permanently on lights. And the blue lights are on when you drive forward. So, yeah, that's kind of kind of okay I guess so we have brake lights and reverse lights here and front lights here so we can have right so these must be indicators So you get one on one thread and one on the other thread. So if I move those two together and those two together, no, those two and those two. Ooh. Uh -huh. That's that one. So we have two left indicators. And two right indicators that are on two different things. So each strand that is plugged into middle ones. So they're both. So you just have to uh, why them. You know, if you if you're plugging that into a a car, you'd you'd have to split those down a little bit. That stick. Right. 
and then take these two to the rear split them out a little bit so you have indicators now uh, I am really not a fan of blue LEDs so I'll right, probably swap um, them out right I'm going to plug this channel 3 into here because I don't know what channel 3 is supposed to do and I'll take that and stick it in there I don't know what this is supposed to do so I'll turn the radio on grab the wires you can get a truck version of this which has um, these are 30 centimeters and you can get 75 centimeters uh, so that's like 12 inch and 18 inches now it's not 18 inch I'm not pretty long um, now 18 inches long 450 right let's turn this on it's gone through its testy test so forward are blue and then reverse and we have direction let's get those out here so those are going to be back those are going to be front that's left and right that's going to be reverse lights and brake forward what is this this will be aha so they can be controlled through channel 2 so at uh, channel 3 so if I get those two trace those two back they might be those two that I unplugged earlier and those two are these just here we can reconfigure these this is one LED for one socket don't know how many this will do so that one and that one so for forward I get headlights and then if I wanted to turn on some Nina lights, I could use those as Nina lights on the. So, yeah, forward and brake. So that's forward there, and then brake, and then reversing over here. And then we've got indicators here. And then if I wanted to use channel three to switch on another set. Three channel light system. I like it. I like it. All these will be rated the same. I would assume that the output on these is three volts. I was hoping to plug that in, but that is a different polarity to those I don't want to be smoking things out uh, I'll have a look at uh, changing that round and see how it goes that is pretty good for a basic light kit and if you wanted to put a sound system in you have sound and lights how 
simple could you get? Brilliant. Anywho, power that off. Turn that off. What do you think? Do you like it? It's all right for a drift car. Bit of cable management, but um, yeah, it says Tamiya hop up options on it. Uh, well, hop up options got the Tamiya logo, but trust me, this is not Tamiya. This is just a twelve pound. Um, cheap basic light kit off eBay. So we'll unplug that because that, my friends, is it. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.